All right, guys. A few months ago, I was watching this guy on YouTube. His name's Izzy Swan. Now, Izzy is an American woodworker. He's got a fantastic YouTube channel and he makes some really, really good stuff. But there was one thing in particular that he made on a table saw that impressed me so much that not only did I want to make this piece, but I made myself a table saw just so I could have a go at making this piece. That's how impressed I was. What is it? Well, it's like this piece of wood with these grooves in it and it looks like it's been twisted. To me, seems impossible. And that's what he called it, the impossible twist. I'm gonna call it the Izzy Twist. Let's get making.
Well guys, everything's made. I've got this guide clamped to my bench. I've got the jig all made up. The piece rotates inside. Uh, so what I've got to do now is uh, I've got to see if it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push it through the blade a couple of times, taking an absolute minimum of material off. Because to be honest, it's a little bit daunting this. I've never done it before. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work or what. Anyway, if it works, if I'm happy with it, then I can add a rail, which is at a slightly different angle to this one. And then I can start cutting the spirals. But just for now, I just want to see if it works. So let's get on with it. Well guys, I'm really happy. At the moment, I'm only removing excess material. But yeah, just look at this. I'm really pleased with that. It's fantastic. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like once I've finished the slide rail. Better get on with making that now. Now I know that my jig works, I've got to make the twist guide rail. And I'm going to make that out of this metal tube. Well guys, I've made a mistake, dead simple mistake, piece is ruined. It looks okay until you turn it round and then you see there's big saw marks in the back. So how did that happen? Let me show you. The mistake I made was having my jig at too shallow an angle to the blade. I should have had it at a steeper angle like this. So now, without adjusting the blade, I'm going to run this wood through at two different angles. 
Now you can see the difference between this side and this side. If I wanted to make this as wide as this, I'd have to raise the blade. But by doing that, I'd end up taking off more material and creating a deeper groove. And that was the mistake I made when I made this piece. I cut the grooves so deep to try and get these points that it took away the material around the guide holes and then the screwdriver that I was using to run along this rail became loose and once that became loose the cutting blade started to cut into the sides because it wasn't secure. What I should have done was change the angle of this, made these shallower and then it wouldn't have touched these holes. Everything would have been tight and everything would have been great. What I'm going to do now is make a brand new piece and that will probably be tomorrow for me. You guys can catch it in a minute. See you soon. guys I did it I'm really impressed I don't know what I'm going to use it for I might just use it for for pointing at the word subscribe on the board here or maybe I'll just find a proper use for it I don't know my heart sank a bit when I made the first one and messed it up but hey I learned from my mistakes who'd have thought just changing that angle a little bit would have made such a big difference anyway guys Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Catch you next time.